Did you know that we purposely design the bumpers of cars to actually crumple up when they get in a car accident? We've actually had the technology to make a car crash actually very different. We could have the bumper just hit the wall and bounce right off. And technically we could design bumpers that experience little to no damage and just bump off the wall like a bumper car. So why do we deliberately design them to crumple up during a crash? Well, it has to do with this idea called impulse. And in physics, Impulse is any time a force is applied to some object for some amount of time. So mathematically, impulse, or letter J, is equal to force times time. So there's really two ways, two main ways to apply an impulse to an object. You can have an impulse that looks like this, a really, really strong force acting for a very short period of time, or you could have an impulse that's a very small force acting over a very long period of time. So let me show you the difference. Here's an object, imagine pushing this across the desk with a very small force, but that force is being applied for a very long time. So maybe some impulse was applied to this object, and let's say that was a thousand units of impulse. Now, I could take the same eraser and apply a much larger force over a very tiny period of time, and technically, these impulses could be the same. It's just how you deliver the impulse. Do you want a really large force for a short time? Or do you want a very small force for a very long time? Well, which one do you think would be better for an automobile if you got in a crash? Think about that for a second. Of course, we want the small force because the less force we feel, the less likely it is that we get injured or die. So the car that allows its bumper to crumple up is actually extending the amount of time of that impact and thereby reducing the force. But the car that bounces experience, experiences a collision that is a very high force acting over a very short period of time, which is not what we want. So this may seem counterintuitive, but a bumper crash is actually much more dangerous because the force is very, very large due to the impact time being very, very short. And that's the principle of impulse, and that's why it's better to have a bumper actually crumple because the goal here is to extend the duration of that crash. Now, of course, if you crash into a wall at 30, 40, 50, 60 miles per hour, there's really nothing you can do. You're, 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 you have way too much momentum when you hit that wall. But for a lower speed collision, it is better to have a smaller force for a longer period of time and let that bumper crumple up.